Bilbao is the largest Basque city. For me, it was worth visiting, even if only to see its transporter bridge. The first, and so the oldest, ever built, yet still operating today. It carries an estimated 4 million passengers and half a million vehicles every year, and was designed so that transporting them across the river didn't in any way interfere with the flow of vessels in and out of this busy port. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its combination of functionality and beauty. Santander, midway along Spain's northern coast, is a good choice for basing a boat for the winter. Its wide bay at the mouth of the river sheltered from the worst of the prevailing westerlies. It's always worth inquiring if there's a winter berth available in the main marina, as it's right in the centre of town. But if not, there's always plenty of space in the Marina del Cantabrico, some way out of the city, but conveniently right alongside the airport. Gaudi's house at Camellius is an intriguing must-see when South Biscay isn't conducive to boating. And the whole inland region of northern Spain is worth spending time getting to know. Acarana, on the northwestern coast of the Iberian Peninsula, is Spain's second largest city. Fought over many times in the past due to its strategic position, plenty evidence of those times still remain. If you're looking for a combination of city life with all its benefits, adjacent to a wild and beautiful cruising area, then this isn't a bad choice. And there are always plenty winter berths available. It's also a convenient place to get to. Acarana has major hubs close by. Porto, Santander and Bilbao all having airports serving the UK. South of Acarana, round Cape Finisterre, and south of the chillingly named Costa da Morte, the coast of death, lie the rears of Galathea, a popular cruising ground whether summer or winter. One of the attractions here is that within the deep rears, there is always the opportunity for boating, except in the really wildest of conditions. And when the weather is gentler, cruising from rear to rear is a great way to get to know this beautiful area. Galathea is the other Spain, far less well known to tourists than the concrete resorts of the Mediterranean coast. One of the most iconic villages of this region is Combarro, nestling deep in the Ria de Pontevedra. The narrow streets and stone-built houses cast a spell of their own. A uniquely Galathean feature are the stone-built boreals. The design of these raised storage houses dates back to Roman times. The simple but effective idea is that by elevating them on stone plinths, the harvests stored in them were protected from mice and rats. As with any choice of winter boating destination, it's important that you have a good potential area to explore. Galathea certainly provides that. It's also important to feel welcome and comfortable in your chosen base. You will certainly find that welcome in Combaro. Next time we'll be looking at what the Portuguese coast has to offer. And we'll also be visiting what's maybe my top tip for an Atlantic overwintering destination. <laughs>